Enjoy the tweaks. And welcome to the first book of our Comic Mix Challenge Challenge. This week we will be discussing Bone, Out from Boneville, by Jeff Smith. Bone follows three cousins, Phone Bone, Phony Bone, and Smiley Bone. So, their names. Smiley Bone, I get because he's, he's the funny one. Smiley Bone's the funny one. Bone, Phone, Bone, and Phony Bone. Their names are so similar. Phony like, Bone, Smiley Bone, like, makes sense because their personality. But Phone but Bone. Phone Bone, I mean, I know we call him Bone because he's, like, the Bone. He's the main guy. And he's the nicest one. But Phone? What does Phone mean? It's, like, not even... It's not even, like, yeah, it's not like a bone. It's no F-O-N-E. When they get kicked out of Boneville because Phony Bone's all greedy. And they go to the valley and they get lost and separated. When Phone Bone is looking for his cousins, he runs into these rat creatures. And he gets saved from them by this dragon. Later, Bone meets Thorn, a teenage girl, who takes him and later Phony Bone in when they have nowhere else to go. Next, we meet Thorn's grandmother, who isn't fond of Phony Bone's rude behavior. But who is? Phony Bone is super greedy and thinks he's right and doesn't like to listen. He thinks his way is best and he just wants to keep his money and get back to Boneville. And he won't do any of the chores he's supposed to do and he's just lazy. He's just not a nice person. I know. He's a phony bone. That's why his name is Phony Bone. But <laughs> man, he just needs to like get an attitude adjustment. Yeah. Phony bone. But Thorn's grandmother still decides to take Bone Bone, Phony Bone, and Thorn to this festival. At the festival, they find Smiley Bone, and all the cousins are reunited together, and it's just a great book for kids. It's a good book about being in a strange new land and accepting it and meeting new people. Except for Phony Bone, he doesn't accept it. Well, Phony Bone's not a nice person. Yeah, well, we're just going to ignore Phony Bone for right now. I read the book for the first time when I was eight years old. So it's very hard for me to understand how it's a challenged book. According to the ALA's Office for Intellectual Freedom, the book has faced multiple challenges and at least one ban over the years. According to the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund, the first removal of the book from a library was in New Jersey when a parent complained that the book wasn't suitable for the age group. This happened multiple times in Texas, but ultimately it got to stay. A parent complained that the book was socially, racially, and politically offensive, while another parent complained that it was too violent. Ultimately, the book got to stay in Minnesota after a parent petitioned for its removal from her son's school library because she felt that the images glorified smoking and drinking. But the complaint was also echoed by a parent in New Mexico, resulting in the books being removed from all classrooms and libraries in the district. What books are these people reading? While the book did show Phone Bone drinking beer and Smiley Bone working in a tavern and smoking a pipe, in no way were the Bones promoting alcohol or smoking. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, a beloved literary character, smokes a pipe. Grimsby from The Little Mermaid, a Disney children's film, smokes a pipe. And quite a few parents drink. I bet some of the petitioners drink too. Have you ever watched a baseball game with your dad? Beer ads. And some other not so appropriate stuff is at every commercial break. How sheltered are these people? In no way does this book glorify smoking and drinking. It does not. But I don't know how to argue against it being politically, racially, and or socially incorrect because it's not. Ag it's just not. Agree. After considering all of the details, we don't think that this book in any way should offend anyone. And if it offends you, let us know. Please. How? And another thing about a controversial book is that it gives parents a great chance to talk about some of the offensive scenes with their kids. Point them to the cbldf.org website because they do case studies on all the books that get questioned. Or you can get your teacher to explain the values of this book. Every book has a value. Every book. There are so many values in this book about overcoming obstacles. And it also shows that you need to be a good person and helping out someone else can help you in the future. Phony Bone is the perfect do not model. I mean, he's one of those things on roller coasters where it's like, do not stick your hands out of the vehicle. It is Phony Bone sticking his hand out of the vehicle. Well, 
and bone was an easy one. If you think there's anything wrong with the message, please let us know. And let us know if they have it in your library. Next week, we will be talking about drama by Raina Tugmeyer. Drama is suggested for middle grades and up. We read it in fifth grade and we loved it. It's set in middle school and has some really great characters. Some of which are gay teenagers and that's probably where the issue lies. So make sure to check back next week for the discussion. Tweet us or Instagram us at the underscore tweaks or hit us up on Facebook. And look for us every Thursday afternoon for new regular episodes. So that's all for now.